Beginning Monday, all international travelers headed to the U.S. will need to test negative for COVID-19 within 24 hours of departure. President Biden announced a new rule last week in response to the spread of the Omicron variant. More states are identifying cases of the highly mutated strain of COVID-19. While Omicron gets extra attention, the Delta variant is still infecting tens of thousands of people in the U.S. every day. And at least 10 cases on board an international cruise ship docking in the U.S. are a reminder of that threat. CBS News' Tom Hansen has more. As the Norwegian breakaway arrived in New Orleans Sunday, Louisiana health officials said they were testing everyone on board for COVID-19. The cruise line was trying to prevent more spread after confirming an outbreak on the ship that made stops in Belize, Honduras and Mexico. Meanwhile, as the new Omicron variant spreads nationwide, Georgia's health officials announced the state's first confirmed case. The person recently traveled from South Africa where the strain was first detected. The question right now is whether or not this is reinfecting people who have Delta immunity and haven't been vaccinated, or whether it's going to also infect people uh, who have who've been vaccinated. There's some reason to believe the vaccines could be more protective than just immunity acquired through natural infection from Delta. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky indicated the FDA is in talks to pave the way for an Omicron specific vaccine. Much of that I would have to defer to the FDA, but they're already in conversations about streamlining um, the authorization of this, um, of an Omicron-specific uh, vaccine, partially because much of the vaccine is actually exactly the same, um, and really it would just be that mRNA code that would have to change. So far, health officials have reported that the handful of known cases in the U.S. have been mild in vaccinated people, but they say there is still not enough evidence to know what to expect from Omicron. Tom Hansen, CBS News. Joining us now to digest all of this is Dr. Esther Chu. She is a professor of emergency medicine at the Oregon Health and Science University. Dr. Chu, great to have you here. There's a 